Hi, Edison Eagles, Dr. Lee here. And I wanna share with you a success strategy or tip with a new tool that we have in Google Chrome. Okay, I hope you know what Google Chrome is. If you look at the bottom of your toolbar, hopefully you see my screen here, you see that there's this little icon here that has red, yellow, blue, and green. That's Google Chrome. So when you click on that to open a page, any page, doesn't matter what page, you go in maybe your Clever site or you go to Google, just a Google uh, homepage, that's fine. And here I went ahead and went to Google Classroom, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I did that. I went to Google Classroom because a lot of you guys, third through fifth grade, you have Google Classroom. Uh, kindergarten through second grade, you guys have Seesaw. So either way, whatever site you open up to, you can use this feature I'm gonna share with you. So I'm gonna go in Mr. Shaw's uh, elementary or Edison Elementary Library page, because that's what I have in Google uh, Classroom. You have your teacher has a page in Google Classroom if you're third, fourth or fifth grade. Okay, um, and again, you can use this on any website. It doesn't have to just be your Google Classroom. You could go to any website. Let's say I gotta go to Google, the Google main page and I wanna go and type in um, how to go fishing. You know, let's say you go to a website or you go pick any kind of website, depending on whatever your assignment is, right? Okay, but I'm gonna show you just in Google uh, Classroom, it's just a little bit easier. Okay, you can go pick anything out there. And the feature I'm gonna share with you is called Read and Write. It's a Google Chrome add-in. So on the top of my page here, you can see this little purple puzzle piece. It says RW, that is Read and Write. Okay, if you don't have this, if you do not have this little puzzle piece, click on, it looks like another puzzle piece, but it's gray. Click on that and that is managing all of your extensions. Okay, see how they have pins here and some are blue and some are not. The ones that are blue are pinned to the top here. The ones that are not are just there. You would have to go find them in your extensions. So I have mine pinned. This is what it would look like if it wasn't pinned. See how it disappeared up there? This is what it looks like if it is pinned. Okay, so if you have that, go ahead and pin it to your uh, toolbar at the top. Go ahead and pin it there so you can access it any time. So with that, I'm gonna click on it. I click on RW, look what just popped up. This whole toolbar here. And no matter what website you're on, no matter what page you're in, when you click on that, this toolbar should show up across the top. So I'm just gonna walk you through what some of these features are. And I'm gonna skip some of them that you might not use, but I'm gonna go through probably the most commonly used and beneficial to you for making your learning efficient and you can keep up when you're, there's things that you don't know. Okay, so the first one I wanna show you is, and anytime you're gonna use a feature up here, usually you would highlight something down here of what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna highlight the word library because the first feature I'm gonna show you is dictionary. So I highlighted the word library, and there you have dictionary. So now it gives me the definition of libraries or different definitions for library. Isn't that cool? And then the next one, I'm still gonna highlight, double click on library, highlight it. I have a picture dictionary. So if I'm not, you know, this is for probably the younger kiddos. If I um, click on picture dictionary, it shows me pictures. Oh, that's what a library looks like. You know, some of it, it they're cartoon pictures. Okay, but that's still pretty cool. The next feature I wanna show you is this triangle pause. So triangle for play, pause, and stop. I think we all know what that usually means, right? When we're watching a video or listening to audio. But in this case, it's gonna be read aloud. So I highlight where I wanna start. Edison Elementary Library, play. Edison Elementary Library, upcoming. Woohoo, no work due soon. View all. Announce Okay. And if I just want to pause it because I, oh, I got to catch up. Hold on. I heard what you said, but, or I heard what it was reading, but I need to stop because I need to, I need to write something down. Okay. I'll pause it so that when I play it again, or I unpause it, it'll keep reading from where it left off. If I'm done with the reading, I could just stop the whole thing. And then when I would have to start over again at a different spot. Okay. So that's play, pause, stop. 
and that's for read aloud, which is so cool because sometimes your eyes get tired or you just, you know, you look at things and it's just so much reading. It's so nice to have a backup for reading aloud. Okay. And I'm going to skip a couple of these and go to this one. It says web search. So let's say I, okay, check out this awesome video about inside of a space shuttle. Oh, I'm really curious about space shuttles. I'm going to highlight space shuttle, click on web search, and it opens up a Google search for space shuttle. So now I'm like, oh, all these features for space shuttle. Oh, look at that. And, and maybe I'm doing research for my class or I'm trying to learn something new. That gives you a Google search. It just pops it right into a Google search. That's really cool too. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is more of how, you know, when you're looking at a screen to make it easier, it's screen mask. Click on screen mask. Look what it does. It makes the whole page darker and it only highlights like a flashlight on that line. So if you're trying to focus or you need to keep your attention just on a line, okay, and I could scroll down. Maybe I just want to see this better that will give you that ability. So it's good for reading or just focusing on something specific. And then when you wanna turn it off, you just click on it again, okay? This next one here is talk and type. And I think you can imagine what that means. So I'm gonna open a Google document. This might be for the older kids, right? You guys might use this. I open a Google document. I'm just gonna start a new one, okay? And my read and write should pop up there. If I don't see it, I might want to click on this again. Sometimes it takes a second when you switch to another page, it should transfer over. But sometimes it takes a second. And if it doesn't pop up, then I might go click on it again, or I might refresh the page, see how it's still working up here. But as soon as it pops up, then there it is. Then I'm going to go click on talk and type. Okay. So watch what happens when I click on it. This little icon pops up over here on the left. That is like, it's reading what I'm saying, right? I'm speaking out loud and it is exactly writing down the words that I'm saying. Now notice how clearly I, and how much I'm opening my mouth to be clear about what is being recorded. See how accurately the words are. But if you're talking to the microphone like this, it might not catch everything. So you have to be really cautious. Ooh, it's actually catching it pretty well. So you have to be a little bit careful about the speed and how clearly you're saying something, okay? Um, but also it looks like it picked it up pretty well. Like maybe I talk really soft and it still is able to pick up what I'm saying. Okay, so there you go. All right, so you can see how I show you even different tones and even different speeds. It looks like it still picks it up. Okay, so I'm gonna stop that and it will stop recording. Very, very cool. I'm gonna go back to the Google Classroom page. Okay, another really cool feature, I'm also gonna highlight Space Shuttle again, is these arrows. And when anytime you hover over, when I say hover, you don't click on it, you just put your, eye, your, your cursor on it. That's what hover means. If I hover on these, it'll tell me what it is. The name of it will pop up. So if you're not sure, you don't remember what I said, you go back in here, just stay on it. Just hold your cursor on it and it'll tell you. So this one is translator. So what happens when I click on translator after I highlighted a word? It shows me that word in Espanol, okay? So if I'm looking at, the, if I'm reading and if English is not my first language and I'm reading, and I go, I'm not sure what a space shuttle is. You know, I'm thinking in my head, I don't know what a space shuttle is. I highlight it and it tells me what it is in Espanol. Very, very, very cool and makes it very easy, okay? And then a few other things here, you can see all of these are highlighters. So let's say I click on Happy Wednesday and I wanna highlight it or I wanna make it blue, okay? See how it's highlighting what I do? If I made a highlight and I made a mistake and I wanna get rid of it, I go to clear highlights. See how it disappeared? So all my highlights and clear highlights. This one here will actually collect all the highlights that you made. So if you were writing something or rather taking notes, annotating a text, this will collect all the highlights and put it in a page. Okay, but you probably won't use that. And then this one here is the last one I'm gonna show you and it is 
Uh, vocabulary. So let's say that your teacher gave you vocabulary to do. If I click on this, um, it's going to open to a new page. Okay. And it says that it's generating a list of your vocabulary. So um, that would be, I believe, if you containing your vocabulary list, there's probably a way, to be honest, we would have to play with this, a way to actually generate a list. Or maybe if your page already had, you had already generated a vocabulary list. But then it has where you could go to a Google, a Google Doc and you should be able to add your own words. So let's say you didn't get the words from the other page, but you just wanna generate a list. Here's the word, the meaning, the symbol, and notes. So you can create your own little vocabulary list for studying, okay? So I just shared with you a whole bunch of features with this one little new, new uh, Chrome add-in. Super easy, really a lot of features, but I really hope that you guys can take advantage of it, use it, learn it, play with it so that it makes your learning efficient, effective, and you get the most out of it. All right. Thank you so much. Enjoy. And I'll see you with the next one.